Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on the Brixy wall. And we're actually going to be changing it up. I guess not really changing it up, but sort of executing our plan to secure it here in this area of the Lego room. So we've got to go get some parts and pieces and then I'm going to show you my plan. Oh yeah, that's a nice 33 degree angle right there on that 2x4 beauty. So now I'm at Lee Valley Tools and we're looking at caster wheels and also some of those steel stud anchors. Looks like the caster wheel we needed from Lee Valley was actually out of stock, but I got these steel stud anchors. Who would have thought there's a store that specializes in caster wheels called Caster Town? Now I'm at Home Depot. Got myself some washers. And we also need some hinges. So now we've got all our hardware to attach the wood to the wall. But I'm gonna work on the actual Lego portion of the wall today during a live stream. I have to paint some wood white. That's why I'm procrastinating about it. I don't wanna paint the wood white, but I have to so that it matches the wall color. It's time to paint the wood. Yeah, we're off to the hardware store to pick up a new 1x4 and also a quarter inch drill bit. No more horsing around, 28 bucks. That seems like a good kit. Well kids, you just gotta have the right tools for the job. The caster wheel is installed. And so are the hinges. Unfortunately when lining up the wall, the angle just wasn't aggressive enough. So we're recutting another 2x4 at a 45 degree angle. So we replaced the angle board with a 45 degree angle. That will allow us to get this at the correct angle. We're ready to mount it. Oh my gosh, this Brixie wall has taken a lot out of Brixie. Let's have a look. So it's going to look pretty neat, right? Because we got the Lego City, we got the pillar, and all the shelving. And when you come and you turn this way, you're going to see the Brixie wall, which is just pointed at a nice angle right towards us and the camera and me as I'm leaving the room. That's the main reason why I wanted to have it at this angle here. And it has been an adventure to try and get this thing to work properly. Oh my gosh. Not really work properly, but have the proper knowledge and know-how and material to get it to work correctly. So you can see the Brixie wall. It's at a nice angle there. It's got the uh, caster wheel on the bottom here. It's got the two by six on the bottom, which is a ledge, so the Lego can sit on that ledge there. I guess I shouldn't say the Brixie wall, I should say the hardware for the Brixie wall. Right here, it is screwed into the wall using hinges. I reinforced the wall using a one by four, and that's held in there by those steel anchors. And then our angle, I'll have to cut the top off, but our angled 2x4 is right there. And it's screwed in using some long screws, 9 or 10 of them I believe, into the side of the Brixie wall, which is topped with plywood. I'll just have to move this here, which is the Lego portion, so we can look at the back of it. But let's have a quick look at this first. So this is the first section, which is actually the middle section of the wall. So it spans 20 inches tall and 8 feet long, which is the length of the wall. Now I'm not going to build the entire thing and then move it onto the plywood because that would be nearly impossible. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to finish constructing this section here, which is uh, 8 feet long. So I'm going to replicate what we're doing here with the minifigures and the minifigure stands and also replicate what we're doing along here, all the way along the bottom, and also all the way along the top, and on the side there. And that's gonna give us our proper length. Then what I have to do is create two 25 inch sections that are just like this here, solid that, that are 25 inch sections. They got the Technic holes so that we can screw it to the wall. 
because the wall itself is 70 inches tall. So we're gonna put a 25 inch section, screw it to the wall. Then we're gonna take this section, which is 20 inches, put it on top, snap all the bricks together, screw it to the wall. And then we're gonna build one more 25 inch section, probably grab some ladders, lift it up and put it onto the wall and screw it into place. And then it will be completely covered with Lego and we'll also have a whole bunch of places for minifigures. So the end intent is to have this wall with the Brixy name in the center of it and minifigures all around it. And it'll be super cool. Um, it's obviously gonna take a lot of trial and error. And if I can't move the 25 inch sections in one piece, then we'll have to reduce it. Then we'll reduce it to 12 inch or 10 inch. Or we'll build it in smaller sections and screw it on there in smaller sections. Maybe that's what we'll have to do. I'm not sure. But as you saw, there's a lot of different trial and error that we had to do in order to secure the wood onto the wall and have it movable like so. So essentially I can just grab it here and we can move it. And the reason we want to move it is so that we can access the back of it and also access the electrical panel, which is right here. But you can see the back of it. So we got two by four, and then we got some uh, two by fours going vertically here as well. I might add a couple more vertical two by fours, one here, one there, and one there, and that might reinforce it even more, but it's pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie, it, it, it's really solid. It's held on by some heavy duty hinges and that uh, one by four is screwed into the wall with some heavy duty wall anchors into the steel stud. I think I have to screw these in a little bit further. I don't know why it's popping out. It shouldn't be popping out because it, I ensured that it went into the steel stud. As you saw earlier, I had to get the drill bits to open up a little hole in the steel stud so that we could then put those anchors in there. Now, there is one flaw at this point, I believe. So what's happening is it's leaning forward a little bit and that's gonna continue to happen once we put more Lego on there. It might look flush and it is pretty much flush, but when we look at the difference in the gap from the top right here to the bottom, it's about an inch difference. So what's happening is the top of the wall is leaning a little bit forward, which isn't good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw, I'm gonna find the uh, metal steel stud here and I'm gonna screw into that and I'm gonna screw something here and I'm gonna have a latch system that will then hold the wall back. And then the only time that it's a worry is when we have to access the electrical panel. And if that's the case, I'll get somebody to push on the wall, wall and latch it, move it forward, hop back there, do whatever we need to do on the electrical panel and be on with our lives. <laughs> Hopefully the only reason I have to access the electrical panel is maybe to install a hot tub in the future, but I don't know if that dream will ever come true. And of course, if Brixie blows a breaker, who knows? That's really about it for today. Just wanted to share my experience, my long drawn out experience of me building the Brixie wall. It's looking fantastic. I can't wait to add Lego on it. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for coming by and have yourself a fantastic day.